Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. The hot news today, of course, is yes, the tax code. Doesn't it need to be redone? Okay, so they're talking about redoing the tax code, but here's one thing. Is, oh, wait a minute. They thought they were going to simplify it. Well, actually, they are simplifying it. They're going to go away with all the deductions. Yes, all the deductions go away. Oh, wait a minute. That includes your house deduction, too? If you're lucky to get a house, right? Um, oh, wait a minute. All of them go away? Wait a minute. Guess what that means? Your taxes are going to increase. But, of course, it's only going to affect the wealthy. Hmm. Or so they say. Yeah, right. Anyway, for now, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. They do wear glasses. You remind me of the cartoon character now. Remember the, the dog with the, the um, cartoon? <laughs> Who, who supplied my glasses? Kahoy! Kahoy! K a h o y. We're gonna be seeing a lot of our glasses because we got we got multiple pairs of them. So. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, well, absolutely! Because um, they're gonna. But Senate is finally gonna pass a budget. To pass the budget, five Republicans have to join with the Democrats to pass the budget. And therefore, they're basically, you have five Republicans that have just signed their death warrant because they're going to throw their asses out of, the, out of the party because this is ridiculous. They're going to sign on to increase spending and, incre and a tr uh, increase spending by nearly a trillion dollars, 300 billion in new stimulus spending, a roads project, well actually 835 billion in brand new spending, cuts down the future and 1.9 trillion in new taxes. Mm. So you think that those guys are going to get reelected from mm. their states? Never in a million years. And where Tim Tebow can always find a job? Oh, they're saying he can go play in the arena football league. The problem is they have also want him to come to Canada where his style of playing is appreciated. They like quarterbacks that run the football. He's a good quarterback. Okay, okay, here's a good one. They spent uh, $200 million to get Peyton Manning, who took him exactly as far as Tim Tebow took him in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. Tebow was making $5 million, Manning $33 million a year, and they didn't go any further. And this year, that said that Manning is going to have to restructure his contract in order to get people to help to try to get him that extra game. It's just, you know, um, they don't like Tebow for one simple reason, because he believed if he was a Muslim, he would be a starting quarterback on an NFL team. I mean, it's just totally ridiculous. It's like it's, well, it's like, like the religion should not get in the way. He's a football player. He's played football. Thing. We know. I sat at listening mm -hmm. to Matt Matt Hassel back at CES promoting a product that basically helps people uh, if they have a concussion. It will show them immediately, and basically, uh, no sooner than he did that. He became an unwanted commodity in the NFL, and now what? yeah, he's now a backup quarterback for somebody else. Oh, that's disgusting! Because he was he was rocking the boat. They don't have concussions in the NFL. They also don't they don't believe in religion. They're wanting to have. I love this one. They're actually being so. Uh, the the state of New York wants them to put transsexual players on the field. And if they don't, they're going to prevent them from playing football in the state of New York. So. Oh my gosh, what is this coming to? Can they just play football? Not anymore. I mean, actually, here's the problem too: is that uh, as we both know, my youngest little B, um, they held her back because she was smarter than the other kids, and then because she was too smart, they dumped her two grades over where she should have been normally. But I would go there, and um, yes, I do have. A, I am old with a small kid. Actually, not small anymore. She's about that tall. But um, you know, but uh, they, I would go to the to parent teachers thing, and they'd give me. Well, she she didn't cooperate today, so we had to give her a frowning face. And I said, Yeah, but what grades? Well, we don't give grades anymore. <laughs> see, see, I taught her. She could play with computers from the time she was little. It's why you don't see me wearing glasses, even though I do wear glasses because. As JC you knows, she'd crawl up on my tummy and then say, Bad Daddy, and throw my glasses across the room. But she was too smart. Mm -hmm. They they penalize you for being too smart in school today. Mm. And uh, New York's, oh, wait a minute, New York City Nanny Mayor's newest crusade. Yeah, he wants to, he's going to shut down every smoke shop in the city of New York. This is Bloomberg? But the places that he owns where they sell tobacco. Uh huh. Yeah, he does. Okay, he used to be a smoker like to buy, like Obama, which means any time that nobody's watching, he thinks no one's watching, he basically smokes. Mm -hmm. But uh, he's after it. 
that uh, basically they're not going to make it illegal, like they're not making, oh, well, what will tell you, what's disappearing off of McDonald's menus? French fries! That's right, the biggest seller they have is vanishing off of McDonald's menus because the president's wife doesn't approve of them. Uh, and this is what's going to happen. They're not going to not sell them, you just don't know they exist, which is killing the tobacco industry. And, you know, part of it is, well, anyway, we'll get into McDonald's a different yeah. time. But they still have it, you just don't see it on the menu. That's right. Yeah, or all the sizes. Um, figure skating Kim unable to lift sagging interest at Worlds. Well, because no one cares. Okay, there is nobody anyone cares about. I mean, like, they cared about Nancy, uh, Nancy Kwan, you know, they, they thought that, well, you know, that they knew if she was wearing something revealing, she won. If she wore something conservative, she lost. So they'd go to see what she was wearing, or they would go to see the hot and sexy, uh, all the hot and sexy male and female figure skaters. Today, it's nothing more than technical routines they're going through. I mean, mm -hmm. they would not, uh, Scott Hamilton, um, uh, Christy Yamaguchi, uh, uh, Katharina Vick would no longer be welcome in today's world because they, they were flamboyant and uh, they set the standards and those, that's not what they want today there. It's like the Montavious is a show dog who basically people would pull out their dogs out of a vest so that she couldn't uh, win points. Mm. And fig um, Elizabeth Hasselbeck will fire herself and Curry style. Well, no, it's, it's the same <laughs> thing. No, it's, just, it's what's going on at NBC. They said that, uh, that Jay Leno was in the process of firing himself by talking about the tra shabby treatment he's getting. What happened is Hasselbeck is to the right on a left-wing network, and they want her gone so they can put somebody in that reflects the views of the President of the United States. That's not supposed to be... This is, okay, um, I mean, I actually worked at, for Rune Arledge, and Rune Arledge tried to mesh entertainment and news together, and so what has happened now they have decided, uh, well actually, she actually was there the day news died and it became all entertainment on Michael Jackson. Oh death. yeah, it, it really was just did. nothing but, I mean, all the people in the news industry came out to handle an entertainment event, which was not news, but no longer news exists though, folks. The secret of the wonder weapon that Israel will show off to Obama. Yeah, and what she's pissed off about, basically. They can, they can basically hit the nuclear stuff over in Iran. And he doesn't like that because Obama wants to have the leverage of, of a, we'll, say, we'll say this is a Monte Monte Dijon, that you know, she, then floor, and, it, and he finds out that they're flying their planes. He said, okay, do you want me to shoot the planes down or are you going to shoot the planes down because they got, uh, they got 147 planes coming from these directions. Well, now they can push a trigger, and and uh, and Obama, oh, hey, Monty, baby, uh, they just blew the hell out of your facilities before I could warn you. Mm -hmm. So, which will make him, it makes him unhappy. And why baseball is abandoning the stolen base? Uh, okay, I was okay uh, when I was a young baseball player and a football player. People like Jimmy Brown and I were very fast and mobile. Today, the people like me that are 240, you know, 225, 240 are all, are all basically, they look like they're all on steroids or something, right? And they can't run because they're, they're so muscle bound you can run. So the little guys basically are the only base dealers left. I mean, they got a guy, they're basically the second coming of God, you know, with the Dodgers that basically has got everything that he's got going for in the world except for the fact he looks like he's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Mm -hmm when he was 19 years old. He basically, he can't, he, 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 he can't put himself in. He's basically meant to be a designated hitter because he's not really a real good runner because of the muscles. And underdogs are primed to make a deep tourney runs. They're not. One is one, the others have all lost us. You think that they don't, they set the thing up so the favorite teams will be in the finals because it's all about ratings. They, they pick it. I mean, nobody, I mean, I was there the day of the last 30 game thing. I remember the manager, I'm sitting behind the manager's dugout and the manager's telling the player, don't swing at anything. Mm -hmm. Just The umpire will call them all strikes, don't swing at anything. Mm -hmm. And that's something. So the, mat, the guy, Denny McLean, struck out the last three batters with the crowd standing in ovation as they're not swinging at a single pitch. Strike one, strike two, and, they, they, and, the, and the announcer, well he's got his pitches hopping in the ninth inning today. They can't, they're going so good that he can't eat, the players can't even get the bats off their shoulders. He's got them on their heels. It sucks, folks. Mm -hmm. 
In Brazil, a mix of racial openness and exclusion. That's the next Olympic. They're going to have an Olympic Games there in a place that nobody is. You want to go to the beaches in Brazil, you go during the day. But you don't go out at night in Brazil unless you've got an army with you. Mm. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, that uh, this is good. Just because the stock market is saying one thing doesn't mean that the people agree with it.